If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman and spiritual business coach. I'm here, as always, with my best friend in Boquete, Karen. Karen. Oh my God. I was, um, I was already going into your last name. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have like not multiple person, it's not multiple personalities anymore, but dissociative identity disorder. Yeah. <laughs> maybe this is like the Karen. Okay. I was already going into Larange. <laughs> oh, you got that one right. You got I that did, one right. But I you was did. trying to say Laurent and then went Karen instead of it's all, it's all good. Hi, yeah. I'm Catherine. My name's Catherine. <laughs> yep. I'll be your co-host today. Going to you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's oh all good. God. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. Spiritual business coach and badass. My best friend in Paquette, <laughs> Catherine Larange. <laughs> we will get there. And, and today we're going to talk about toxic patterns and, you know, the, what happens when you compare your insides to other people's outsides and how that path works or mm -hmm. rather you know, face plants. So. Yeah. So it, this is going to be a short one, guys, because it's a very simple concept, but it's a very important one. So, uh, important. so important, right? You know, one of the biggest things that, that people do is they have this sense of not good enough. They have this sense of, you know, not feeling confident in themselves or trusting themselves and all of that. And that often happens, especially if you're doing psychic gifts and things like that, you know, you go through a stage where like, well, other people say it's good, but I don't know. And I don't trust it. Da, 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 da. There's this whole proof to myself that it works thing that happens. Right. And you look at other readers and you're like, oh my God, they're all on point and they're all doing this stuff and ah, they're perfect. And you know, they never do anything wrong or, you know, they barely get anything wrong. And it's like, okay, first off, you don't know what's going on inside of somebody else's head mm -hmm. and what you are ascribing to them as being amazing and perfect and whatever they're probably looking at exactly the same way that you are which is ah oh, this is just what i do and i do my best and you know i wish i had more and you know blah 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 right you know the further along you get in your career the the less that's true about the mindset you know like i do readings now and i'm just like yeah this is a reading you know i don't worry about it but i've been doing readings for you know 25 years professionally and you know 40 years you know in, from from childhood right and so you know the thing that you, you have to pay attention to though on is, is on average most people have the same processes processes in their head as you have in yours right and so we ascribe this level of confidence and perfection to other people and we look at them from the outside and they go and you go wow they're amazing and then you compare your insides to their outsides, right? And, and oftentimes the people who look the most amazing are the ones with the best uh, glamours, right? So a glamour is an energetic mask that we wear. It's the see me this way, don't see who I actually am, right? right. It's like and looking so, at social media. Say again? It's like, it's like social media. Like people post yes. the highlight reel. They don't post the kind of like the crap. They're just posting the happy stuff. Right. And mm -hmm. so, you know, when you look at that from the outside, that looks like, oh, their life is perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, no, they just, when they, when they're having down days and when they're having crap experiences of life, they don't have the energy to make a podcast episode or a TikTok or a, you know, post on Instagram about it. And, yeah. and, or they don't want to, because they don't want to look yeah. like they don't have their crap together. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so. You know, we get into this toxic state of needing to feel like we have to be perfect and we have to feel perfect in order to be good enough to compete with other people. And so, you know, first off, this is a competition mindset, which we don't want, right? You're in not comparison. competing with yeah. yeah, you're not competing not with that. anybody else in life but yourself. You are the only person that you're trying to be better than the person who you were yesterday. And that is oftentimes the better than quote unquote, is being more compassionate with yourself, not being superior. Okay, <laughs> let's be clear. And 
uh, you, you know, comparing yourself to other people, you don't know what their experience of life is. You have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. And so it is a complete fallacy to be comparing yourself to them in that way. So do you want to add anything to that, Catherine? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> so, so in my 12 month program, High Vibe Business Tribe, we, we come together every quarter to review and reflect on progress. And I talk about this and every time I remind people, right. And, and I call it comparison despair. So don't Mm -hmm. get into comparison despair. And, and yes, we're, you know, we're kind of, it's the inside versus outside, but often we also compare our outsides and our, like our results, like what's going on in our business or, you know, what our revenue is, how many clients, how many likes, how many followers to someone else's results. And when their results seem to be happening faster, bigger, better than ours, we can get into this comparison despair where it's like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm doing it wrong and it's working for them. And how come it's not working for me? And so I tell the story at the start of every, every, you know, kind of quarterly reflection and planning session that we do. And there is this type of bamboo and you plant it. And you, you, you know, you love on it, you water it and you fertilize it and you take really good care and you're just like the best gardener ever. And it grows like an inch and then you're like, okay. So then the next year you're doing the same thing. You're like loving on it. It's got the the, the sunlight, everything. And it grows like another inch and the same thing for year three and the same thing for year four. So it's growing an inch a year and you are just like putting so much care and attention and love into it. And in year five, it grows 80 feet in a week. Oh my God. <laughs> so there, there is this type of bamboo and wisteria is a similar type of plant. And what's happening is that it's the root system. It has to put in the root system. So it's the work in the unseen that is happening, right? And so for us, that's our inner work. That's our energetic work. That's our spiritual work. And that has to happen to be able to support the outer growth. So you don't know how long this other person has been doing that inner work, right? You might be, you know, like a year in the process and they've been like five years or 10 years or 20 years. Yeah. So you, 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 you just don't know. So we, we want to be really mindful of focusing on our results, focusing on our wins, our gratitudes And learning also how to celebrate the growth of other people, because in this universe, uni being one, right, there is no separation, right? So when we can celebrate instead of compare and despair or feel competition, when we can celebrate the growth and wins of other people, the universe then is like, oh, well, that's for you too then. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, and and to acknowledge that that other person is holding the vision for you of what is possible, right? Mm-hmm. They're proving it's possible through yes. their success, right? Yes. And yes. so that is a service to you, even if you're not experiencing it, they are proving to yes. you it's possible, right? You're not yeah. experiencing it yet. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Even yeah. if that's yeah. not yeah. what you're seeing in your outcome yet. They're proving it's possible, which is seeding in your brain that if yes. they can do it, I can do it, right? It's, uh, there's a belief factor that is being seeded into your brain when each person in the, who's doing the same things you're doing succeeds, right? Mm-hmm. And so even if you haven't yet gotten to that place, that seeing that success is what allows you to believe it's possible for you too. So, you know, all of these things go into, into the, the process there. And so when you are looking at that, being able to go, yes, look at you, you're amazing. And I'm doing the same things. I'm next, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. next. It, can, it has to happen because it happened for uh-huh. you and it happened for the first time uh-huh. before you. So I'm next, right? That's, uh-huh. that's the uh-huh. energy you want to be in in, in that kind of coaching environment where you're, you're following the same steps, you're doing the same things. Therefore your outcome is just as inevitable as theirs is. Right. And so when you buy into that, then you create that, right. That's how the law of attraction works. That's how, you know, all of this is built in. That's what you focus on is what expands. 
what you intend is what you create, right? We, we keep talking about this. And so, you know, that model is absolutely being able to be excited about it is what keeps you on the train to get there too. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So when you notice, again, it's all about the noticing and becoming aware that you're maybe in that comparison Mm -hmm. despair, the antidote is the gratitude and celebration. And then also building your faith and expectancy. Yeah. Expectancy. So important. So important. And excitement about the expectancy, right? Yeah. It's like, ooh, I can't wait, right? I'm yeah. so excited. It's coming. Look at it. It's, it's, yeah. it's I can almost yeah. touch it. I can almost touch it. I can feel it. It's so good, right? Ah! Right? That energy of excitement. Yeah. And I, I talk think, to people. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think I think it would be interesting to do an episode on faith. Uh, so I use like faith, belief and expectancy. There's okay. this whole process, yep. right? I think I think that could be helpful. What do you think? Sure. Let's do it. Let us let us know. Let us know. Write to us or do the little voicey thing. Let us know if you'd like to learn about that. Yeah. Because, you know, we want to know what you want to learn about because we're we're here for you. That's yeah, we're in service. Remember, that's right. That's it's, right. It's the, be in service. Know. Let us um, know. Ask for what you want. Ask for right. what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Wish for something else. Wish for that's something right. else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I love that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so you know, I I talk about the expectancy thing with people all the time. You know, there's this need to be in you know, when my students come in and they're, you know, all of my programs have some personal growth in them, right? Because you you have to do it. You know, you have to, it's more transformation. It's a combination of personal growth and energetics, right? So we, we put those two together when you, when you combine them, that's when you create transformation where you see yourself as a different person, right? That's the definition of transformation. And so, you know, one of the things that I tell people is if you're not excited and a little scared when you, when you're considering signing up for one of my programs, you shouldn't sign up, right? Mm. Because you, we all live in the eternal moment of now and the eternal moment of now, we are already at the place that we are where we're finishing the program. And so we're, you know, your body will know whether or not this program is going to have an impact, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you're not feeling a little nervous, a little excited, a little scared, you know, all of that, then it's not going to have an impact for you. So you should absolutely not sign up, right? But if you're feeling a little nervous, a little excited, a little scared, then it's exactly yeah. what you need, right? It's exactly yeah. what's going to have yeah. the impact for you. Yeah. And so, you know, being able to be conscious about how that energy is running in your body is super important. And mm-hmm. maintaining that energy is super important for getting where you want to go, right? Because every excitement is half a turn from fear, right? So it's really a quarter it's turn breath. from fear, right? The only, the only difference is breath. It's yeah. the breath. When we're afraid, we're like shallow breathing. When yep. we're excited, we're deep breathing. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's like right next to each other, right? So, mm-hmm. you know, the, the key is, you know, we often let fear get in our way. Because we think, oh, well, that person has something I don't have. We're coming back to the comparison thing, which is this whole toxic thought pattern, right? That person has, they're, they're better than I am. They're smarter than I am. They, they have more resources than I do. You know, whatever, whatever your story is to tell about them and to say that you're not, right? And that's, that puts you in fear. Oh, I can't do this. They can do it, but whatever, whatever, right? And no, no, they don't. And even if they did, it doesn't matter if you want to do it and you can do it, right? If you're in that fear, just turn it to the half, the half breath, right? The deeper breath into the excitement yeah. and choose it for yourself. That's the, that's the only yeah. thing that's the difference yeah. is you're not choosing yeah. it for yourself, right? Yeah. 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 And what I, what I invite people to, to consider is if, if this was possible for me, would I love it? Right. Would I love it? Is there this kind of like, yes, this like aliveness, this greater aliveness when I think about it. So if I really thought this was possible for me too, would I love it? Yeah. And if it's kind of a meh, then it's not for you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that covers it. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. 
All right. Well, this was a short one. I promised you it would be. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And, and again, remember what you focus on is what expands. What you intend is what you create. So choose wisely. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh.